So this is really neat. What we have here is we're kind of like a mini canyon. And actually, you can see the skinny rock I'm staying on kind of is a bridge. It's called a natural bridge. It literally stretches from all the way back there to here. And there's a big hole going underneath it where this creek from all the way up here in these caves comes and goes underneath. And over the years, this is worn away this rock. How tight is that? But you can see this whole wall here. Just a big massive <laughs> outcropping. <laughs> Almost lost the cameraman that time. <laughs> it's hard to see down, but there's a natural bridge below us. We'll take you underneath this in a second, but then you can look over here too. And you can see just how neat this place is. We have outcroppings going all the way over there. Illinois has a lot of outcroppings. It's a really cool place. Like if you haven't been here before, the Shining National Forest is truly an awesome place to be. I go and shine at the bridge. So you can see the bridge all the way up there. You can, you can see the woods underneath it here. That's how tight this place is. Sorry we have a bad camera here and it literally doesn't focus in. But it's a cool place to be. It's got all these outcroppings over here. And Brandon here, here is about to go over and check out some caves over there. We'll see how that goes. Let's see what he can find. And I don't know if you hit it or not, but there's actually running water over here. Okay, so it's the second day in Snake Road, and we spent the night in Pine Hills Camp area. And it got cold, like cold enough that we're in hoodies and pants, and he's back there in a hoodie, sweatshirt, and pants, everything. Dude, it got cold. <laughs> but we were back out here second day, and I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet, but we're thinking like railroad tracks is one option. Um, we we'll go to so some days we saw high up on the cliffs. We we'll go to them, and we'll go to the Garden of the Guys at some point today, and we'll have a good time with this. So, yesterday was a bummer. We didn't find much. We really didn't. We found a worm snake, a couple, a ribbon snake got away, and something else got away. Didn't see any other snakes. Saw a couple salamanders, cave salamander, and a fence lizard. We saw a huge fence lizard yesterday. Uh, that thing was. Show them again. It was a big dude, but we'll go try to find something like that again. I don't know if we will, but hopefully they will be better. So, peace out. This is a black racer. They're found throughout the Midwest. The reason why they're called racers is because when you're in like brush like this, it's really hard to find them and really hard to catch them because they're just, they just go everywhere. It's really difficult. What they eat is they eat lizards, um, mice, um, fish, anything they can get a hold of, basically. Um, they're, journal in, they're journal snakes, which means they go out during the day um, and hunt. And that's a black racer. Is a Mississippi green water snake. Now these guys are a really cool snake. And last year we were here at Snake Road. We actually caught a brighter colored one. As you can see the pattern is better. But this is a really cool guy. And a lot like the northern water snake and other water snakes in behavior. They're aquatic. They eat fish and stuff like that. And frogs. But they have a little bit of a different pattern because on top of the backs people actually confuse them with the diamond back. Because it literally is kind of like a wavy kind of like X. Like you see it's like there's side marks on them. And basically, when the side marks go up, they kind of like make cross and make an X. And that's what both this guy and the Diamondback do. But this guy is a little different than the Diamondback. And it's just a really cool snake. He kind of has like a greenish tint to his underbelly, which is the name. It's a really cool snake, though. It's found him in the water. We thought, like, here's Snake Road, a lot of cottonmouths, a lot of water moccasins. That's what we thought that was. We thought that's what it might have been. And so we sat here for 20 minutes trying to get on shore. And finally we realized, oh, hey, that's not a cottonmouth. That's what we just grabbed it. All right, so what I have here is the first time I've caught this guy. It's a yellow belly water snake. 
Now these guys are pretty common here at Snake Road. <laughs> they have a really, really cranky attitude. It had to stop striking at me since I caught it. I was caught these big rocks over there. It was just sunny myself. But the water snake, like the northern and the midlands and the other Mississippi green snake we just found. But the way that this guy is tilted apart from them, the easiest way to identify it, as you can see, is the yellow belly. It has a bright yellow belly. I can't actually see any patterns on top of it. There's, there's a little white line about an inch down its body, but it's, it is really not bright or anything. But it's just that yellow belly. It even stands onto the bottom of its mouth. Easy to tell apart from any other snake. There's no other snake like it. But they're an aquatic snake mostly. And actually, last time we were here, a guy found these eating a serin, which is a pretty rare kind of like amphibian. But it's a really cool snake. It's pretty aggressive. <laughs>